intention goes a long way. And the intention of some of the people in this room, and I think the intention of this community, again, not to be against the, whatever they're called, Wyoming and energy, U.S. energy, not to so much be against them, but to say, wait a second, this is a national treasure. We're, we're the custodians of something that's enormously valuable to this country. And I use that as really, I think, the third point that I wanted to talk about that, and that is, that is our role as stewards. Now, it's easy to come to Crested Butte and buy a t-shirt or buy a condominium, buy a ski pass, buy dinner at a restaurant or a drink at a bar. It's easy to come and do that and enjoy this great place and then go on, go on somewhere else, go back home or come here for a few weeks a year and enjoy the place. But somehow I think we have a greater responsibility. I think this is, uh, I don't know what the right term is, you wouldn't litter the Sistine Chapel. And I'm, I'm not sure that you can just come here and use it and then leave without having some sort of an obligation. This, this really is, as I said, a national treasure. And when you look at one of the few places that I know anywhere where you can go to the end of, of a paved road and literally walk into the wilderness, be surrounded by some of the most magnificent land. And this land doesn't belong to people in Crested Butte. And it doesn't belong to the people of Gunnison County. And it doesn't belong to the people of Colorado. This is a national treasure. These are federal lands. And these wildernesses that we've fought hard to protect and designate deserve not only the protection of wilderness designation, but the water and the air. And, and when the people in San Diego turn on their tap, it would be nice if they had less heavy metals in them. And that we stood up for, for that as well, the quality. Because they say that everybody's downstream of somewhere, but we're not. We're where it all begins. And this is just not the headwaters of, of a lot of the water that goes into the American West. It's a very, very special place. I'm, well, again, Mitchell Jew is, duh, we never knew that. We never understood that. But the people that come here, and, and I use the phrase sometimes, not so much when I was here, but occasionally, and I've thought about it more. I really think of Crested Butte as a lighthouse in the Rockies. And I love that term, because we're, we're a town that did stand up for itself, that did say, wait a second, there's some values here that are, that are worth more than a pound of molybdenum. And while we all need molybdenum for, and all of us have 10-speed bikes, and occasionally one of us has a wheelchair, and we have cars, and we fly in airplanes, so we all use molybdenum. The fact is, molybdenum is in a lot of places. There are very few crested buttes in the world, in the land in the East River Valley, and I think we deserve to protect it and look after it.